Are we going to head in right now? Yep. Well, good morning. Going into the depths of hell. <laughs> I don't know that I would say that, but um, we are technically at the end of this load and haven't done any videoing. <laughs> we are, for the second time in a row, entering the rock under Carthage. Or under the rock in Carthage, there we go. Yeah, we are going into the cave system down here in Carthage, Missouri. Uh, we posted a short video about this on our Facebook page the last time we were here. And this time, you guys get to come along for the ride. So, um, interesting things that have developed since the last time we talked. Um, coming down through Kansas City this morning, we did nothing more significant than stopping at a red light and have developed some sort a, of air leak. Got an air leak coming off behind the dash no idea what it is yeah so that's gonna be high on our priority list of things to get figured out today so we'll see how that goes um, coming up on interesting things this week Friday is the driver appreciation banquet in Lamar's one of the big things about this is they announced the driver of the year driver of the year is a big deal because uh, you get a brand new truck pretty much and of your choice well, it, it's going to be an international truck, but you can either have one of the Pro Stars like this, or what they have, what they call the Lone Star Edition. It's got the Venos on the front yeah. of it. So there's a couple different options, but it's basically outfitted more the way you want it, from what I understand. So um, we've been told that this particular event is quite entertaining. We shall see. Um, otherwise. This is it for right now. We don't have our next load yet, so we'll see what's coming down the pipe whenever, or we'll let you know what's coming down the pipe whenever we know. So I guess, um, yeah, we'll see you after a bit. Excuse me. Because the load is supposed to deliver to 
tomorrow in Gearing, Nebraska. That way, hold on. From Meta, Missouri to Gearing, Nebraska is just shy of 700 miles. <laughs> so odds are this load's not going to make it tomorrow. This might prove to be kind of an interesting couple of days. So in the meantime, we are headed to Meta, Missouri, fighting yeah. across the Mississippi Trail. Good times. But um, this is the scenery getting to Meta, and don't mind if I say so, it's quite awful. itself 
and I believe it has actually gotten worse. I don't think so. I think it has, but regardless, um, we now my jack engine lights on. Think, yeah, we haven't lost any functionality, like not at all. So I don't really know what's going on. But yeah, like you said, the uh, check engine light came on this morning. So don't know what that's all about. Kind of eager to get back to the yard so we can turn this thing in and I don't know, maybe get a hotel. I don't know. I don't know. We've got a nine-hour drive to get back to the yard. So. Yeah. <laughs> So who knows? We may end up on the side of the road following a tow truck. Let's cross our fingers and hope that that's not the case, but oh, we'll see. We'll see you further down the road. sort of error code saying that we had lost torque, like 25% of our torque or something like that. Despite all of these error codes, there was absolutely zero change in how the truck behaved. So, I don't know. We'll see. But now, let's party. But uh, right now, George Parker was in third place. And I'm very proud to give George Letson a car. Okay, so that was the party. <laughs> um, pretty much about what I expected. You know, a lot of food and talking. There was a lot of talking. We showed up a little bit late because, um, yeah, we had to get back from gearing. Um, yeah, really not much to report. I mean, awards were handed out. We do want to give a shout out to one of our followers, Tessa Ross. Congratulations. She got first runner up for driver of the year. Yay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got back to the yard and kind of hung out and socialized. And then about, I don't know, 11 o'clock or so, we decided to hit the hay. Um, middle of the night, I think 12.30 in the morning. Guess what happened again? <laughs> yeah, the APU just quit. APU quit again. It just quit. And it, it would fire up, but it wouldn't stay running. So we ran the big motor all night. Thankfully, we didn't have any issues keeping it running. And we got everything handed into the shop pretty much first thing this morning. And they got right on it. Luckily, it was an easy yeah. fix. The yeah. APU... So one of the wires going to the oil pressure sensor come loose. Yeah. You know, the, AP, the computer doesn't sense that there's oil pressure, it shuts the motor off to protect it. Yep. So we shut it off. Yep. Easy and fix. Apparently just, you know, the vibrations of running worked then it loose. Our air leak that we were getting from under the dash. Legitimate air leak. It was an air leak, but not like what we thought. There's a huge hose. Oh. <laughs> like an eight inch hose okay. that runs from the turbo into the air intake. We blew a hole in it. Not a very big one. It was about 
probably felt like about an inch, inch and a half long, and just wide enough I could barely get the tip of my finger into it. Yep. So it's splitted basically. And, and again, just random happenstance. Yeah, it just happened when it happened. You know, it's yep. one of those things. So and because, and because it, of that, it affected yeah. everything else. Yep. My check engine light and all that. Put the hose on, started the motor. Everything's perfect again. Everything's so. fine. So it was a relatively quick fix. I think we were in the shop for maybe an hour. Hour but and a half, maybe. Yeah, so. they had to do a grease job. And we needed to do laundry anyway. So, hey, you know, it all works out. Got to socialize with a couple of the newer drivers. And, yeah, it was a nice morning. Uh, and. Let's see, we went and yeah, did our grocery shopping already, got all that done, went and picked up some coffee at the Quick Star, and now we are headed down to Council Bluffs. Council pick Bluffs, up. pick up our load at Tyson, and we are headed east, going to Pennsylvania. Yeah, but that'll be probably next week or some other, I don't even know if it'll even make it into a video or not, but we'll see. So we'll so, see how this goes. I don't know. Stick around and find out with us. In the meantime, um, here's Iowa. 